Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today we'll be covering the smoky hole in the ground effect seen in the Outer Range TV show. So I just put my camera on a tripod in my backyard and pretended like I was walking towards a giant hole. And as I was shooting this, I was like, man, this is a bummer because now I'm gonna have to rotoscope this. I could have put myself off to the side, but I feel like sometimes putting the 3D objects behind the subject and relevance of the camera can make it seem more realistic. So I started off by rotoscoping the subject from the scene in After Effects, and this isn't a rotoscope tutorial, but if you want an in-depth look, I've created a Skillshare class that covers masking, rotoscoping, and green screening, so you can check that out if you want. You can get a free month, links in the bio. Now, after the subject has been rotoscoped, I export it out as a transparent layer because as soon as you make one change, it likes to propagate the entire thing again, and it's super annoying. So the way you can export as a transparent layer is going to File, export export output module and click on the format options and change it to Apple ProRes 4444 and then in the channel it will then have another option for RGB plus alpha and then once you export that it will be a transparent layer. So now that we have our main shot and our rotoscope layer we're going to create a new solid and add turbulent noise to it. I changed the fractal type to dynamic twist and then I boosted the contrast a ton and then lowered the brightness so that there is mostly black with a little bit of white smokiness there. I then opened the transform properties and unchecked the uniform scaling box and scaled up the width a lot higher than the height. That way we could have long wispy smoke. And then I keyframed the rotation for the duration of the effect, but later on I slowed down the rotation because it was a little too intense for me. And then I did the exact same thing for the evolution. Search for the effect called CC Sphere and add it to your black solid and then make that black solid a 3D layer and then hit R on the keyboard to bring up the rotation and then change the X rotation so now that circle, that sphere, is now looking like a hole that is sitting on the ground. I then scaled and repositioned the hole and then imported a photo of a cliffside so that I could use that to look like the dirt that's under the surface of the ground. I then grabbed the ellipse tool and created an oval shaped mask around the cliffside image. After that I made sure that the cliffside image was on top of our black solid and then I boosted the mask feather of the cliffside image. Now in order to give this hole in the ground a hard edge I duplicated our original layer and moved it above the cliffside image and then just hit T on the keyboard and you can lower the opacity so you can see where you're gonna be masking but now we're gonna create another oval mask around that hole but then we're going to change the mask mode to subtract I then added the tint effect to the cliffside image to make it match my scene more than an Arizona or Utah Canyon look. So I just chose colors from my scene and then played around with that until I got a look that I was happy with. Now search for the effect called Rough and Edges and add that to that hard edge that we just created around our circle. This is so we avoid having just a perfect circle on the ground. For the final touch, I added tint to the black solid and changed the matte black to a dark gray and the map white to a light gray. And then that's it. That is how you do that smoky hole in the ground effect seen in outer range. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.